All right, Shalom, Shalom, beloved ones. We'll give our praise out of an hour. Yah, by Shema, Shak Yah, Shai, by Shem Kakwadash. Peace and blessings to our beloved ones, baptized in the New Testament for the remission of sins. And uh, today, I'm going to be going through the uh, discourse. All right, out of the book of Josephus, the discourse, the discourse concerning uh, Hades. All right, extract out of Josephus' discourse to the Greeks concerning Hades. Right, so Josephus was what telling the Gentiles and the Greeks, right, which the beloveds were scattered among them, right. He was speaking to them about Hades, man. Which Hades go back to the Hebrew word she sheol or shawa. All right. And you can read all in Job how it says that your soul can go there, man. Like it speak about the soul and everything going to Sheol, which that was a place that what they would go in the old covenant, all right, before the Lord Yahweh Shah was resurrected and went into the heavens, right? Because before that, what, when people die, they would rest in Sheol, all right, until what, uh, the resurrection, when you stand before the judgment seat of, of Christ. All right, so they had to wait to stand before the judgment seat of Christ, man. All right, so this was the place where the dead would go when they rest or be tormented until what? They go to, to the judgment to uh, be judged by the Lord. All right. Which, uh, you know, the the, uh, the discourse of Hades, it's, it's just like Ezra's, uh, the 70 missing verses of Ezra's, which... She might have to go read that again, man, because that the 70 missing verses is heavy, which a lot of people uh, speak about the apocrypha we have now. The apocrypha we have now, they took those uh, verses out of the book, man. And, and you can look this information up about various manuscripts. They took out the 70 missing verses, man. All right, because they didn't want you to fear the Lord's uh, torture and his wrath, man. They want you to think about only uh, uh, the Lord basically just you know not doing any uh judgment all right so let's keep it reading because i got like eight minutes to record this video because the uh limit on this uh app only let me do 10 10 minutes so let me try to hurry this up get what i can out of this and this is the discourse concerning demons all right well i'll, I'll go back up extract out of Josephus' discourse to the greeks concerning hades wherein are contained the souls of the righteous and unrighteous and this is a discourse concerning demons. Now as to Hades, wherein the souls of the righteous and unrighteous are detained, it is necessary to speak of it. He said, is what? It is necessary to speak of it. No, I, mythology, right? <laughs> Hades is a what? Is a place in the world not regularly finished, right? The scriptures tell you that what? To the, uh, the way of the wise is to depart from uh, hell below, man. All right. So let's keep it going. He said, "Is Hades a, is a place? It's is what? It's a place? No, I, it's just a condition, bro. Hades is a place in the world, not regularly finished, a subterraneous region. It's an underworld, right? Right. That's why you have in Revelations the uh, the the uh, pit, the bottomless pit. That's the subterraneous region, your bottomless pit, man. All right. What you have, Sheol. You have another word." Uh, which is uh, like a priest Thawam, he called himself Thawam, which uh, it's another way they pronounce it too in modern, right? But that word for depth also goes into the abyss, all right? And you also have what? Uh, another word for the, uh, the abyss is what? Uh, that T word, how do they say that? It's, uh, dang, how for, I know Peter spoke of it. What's that word? Tartarus, Tartarus. All right, so let's keep it going because I'm yapping. Let me keep reading. It says, it is necessary to speak of it. Hades is a place in the world, not regularly finished, a subterraneous region wherein the light of this world does not shine, right? A dark place. And Job speaks about the land of darkness in the book of Job, all right, where the light don't shine, from which circumstance that this, in this region, light does not shine. It cannot be, but there must be in it perpetual darkness. This region is allotted as a place of custody, of what? A place of custody. For souls in which angels are appointed. Remember in the New Covenant when when the uh, rich man died and Lazarus died, the angels come and get you, man. And an angel or a demon can come get you after death. See that? Everybody don't have a beloved angel that come gets them after death. Some people get demons that come take them after death, man. 
Where you think them demons was taking you, man? After death, man. Everybody doesn't have Michael the Archangel to come take them after death, man. You Negroes is crazy and out your damn mind. All right? The Lord said he judges for man according to his works and his ways, man. So let's keep it going. It said this place was a custody for souls in which angels are appointed as guardians to them who distribute, who do what? Who distribute to them temporary punishments. Remember the scripture says the Lord shall what, deliver you to the tormentors agreeable to everyone's behavior. So there's torments for everyone's behavior, man. This is why you what? You got to have good behavior, man. The scripture says, what? Uh, bad communication corrupt good manners, man. In this region, there is a certain place set apart as a lake of fire. What? As a, as a what? As a lake of unquenchable fire. Whereunto we suppose that no one have hitherto been cast, right? So in Josephus' time, he didn't, you know, think nobody was what? Sent there yet, right? But we read about the rich man clearly being what? Cast there. In, in the Gospels. So let's keep it going. Where in two, we suppose no one has been hitherto been cast, but it is prepared for a day of four determined by God in which one righteous sentence shall deservedly be passed upon all men when the unjust and those that have been disobedient to God and have given honor to such idols that have been in the vain operations of the hands of man as to God himself shall be a judge to this everlasting punishment as having been the cause of defilement while the just shall obtain incorruptible, never fading kingdom. The just going to get the kingdom. Never fading. These are now indeed confined in Hades, but in the same place wherein the unjust are confined, right? But not in the same place wherein the unjust are confined. See that? It's a, it's a division. It's a gulf like the new covenant speaks of. There's a separation for the righteous and the wicked. All right. It's not the same place, but not in the same, but not in the same place. All right. So they're not getting tormented, the righteous. All right. When they die and, and rest until the Lord rises them out of that, out of that uh, pit, which is out of that Sheol and, and what well, resurrect them. For there is one descent into this region at whose gate. Remember the gates of hell. We believe there stands an archangel with an host. So there's angels at, at the gate to these of these realms, man, which gate when those pass through that are conducted down by the angels appointed over souls, they do not go the same way. But the just are guided to the right hand and are led with hymns. See the just are led with to the right hand with hymns when they die. And their angels is is, is making it very peaceful for the beloveds. All right. Their works do follow them like the new covenant says, sung by the angels, the angels are singing to you, beloveds, appointed over that place unto the region of light, right? Which is Abraham's bosom in which the just have dwelt from the beginning of the world, not constrained by necessity, but ever enjoying the prospect of the good things they see and rejoicing in the expectation of those things, new enjoyments. All right, slack your beloveds. I'm reading fast because I got only a little bit of time. It said, basically, this place is called the bosom of Abraham. But as to the unjust, they are dragged by force to the left hand by the angels allotted for punishment. No longer going forth with goodwill, but prisoners driven by violence to whom are sent the angels appointed over them to reproach them and threaten them with their terrible looks and thrust them still downward. They're going to send you to hell, thrust you downward. Now, the angels that are set over these souls drag them into the neighborhood of hell itself, man. So... You know, I had to hurry this one up, loved one. So, uh, you know, you guys can look into this, man. So, shout out to one.